It's great to be leading this time of prayer and reflection with you again from the Nottingham and Derby district. My name is Rosie Farrow and I'm the district facilities manager and the safeguarding administrator. I'd like to begin by reading some words to you from one of Eddie Askew's books, the book called A Silence and a Shouting. I often turn to uh, his, his work to help me in my reflecting and just sometimes when I'm feeling that life is a little bit hectic uh, and things are getting a little bit rushed or a little bit difficult, uh, quite often there are words in here for me. And so just some words of Eddie Askew to focus our thinking. Lord, wouldn't it all be better if things were organised and predictable? If I knew the result of my actions beforehand, if I could work out the, in the interest on my investment before I made it? If I could always plant in neat little rows and watch the seedlings grow exactly right. I don't know if it would be better. It would certainly be safer and more comfortable, tidy. I could work out my plans, build my dreams, organise my life. My plans, my life. Lord, I think that's the point. I'm looking at the world and the work I have to do as though they were mine. But it's your world and the only long term plans are yours. I can build my own ideas. I can do what I think best and wise. But the wind is yours too. And it blows through my life at your will. Sometimes it's a cool breeze sighing through the willows by the river, comforting. Sometimes it's the strong wind hurling rain in my face as I walk in the hills. And it can be the screaming gale with purposes I don't understand, taking my plans and tearing them to shreds, or so it seems. Lord, help me to realise that your ways are beyond knowing. Strengthen my faith, that when the wind blows my world wide open and carries the seeds beyond my horizon, I can be confident that it will grow in other places and other times. Make me see that all those other times and places are yours too. Lord, my job is to keep my face to the wind, to let it blow through my life, refreshing, disturbing, sometimes frightening, but always knowing that it's your wind and when I'm facing it, I'm facing you. There's an Arabic proverb which says, I will set my face to the wind and scatter my handful of seeds on high. I've been thinking recently about sunflowers. Um, I'm going to be joining our local uh, boys brigade group this week to talk about Thy Kingdom Come. And as part of that, we're going to be planting seeds of hope. And the seeds that we're going to be planting and then thinking about those seeds as they grow and giving each a named person to pray for, we're going to be thinking about how sunflowers turn to the light. They turn to the light for sustenance, for growth, to give them energy. And it made me think when I was reading that about turning to God, turning to God in those difficult times, turning to his light, and we all know, don't we, how busy life can be. I've had a particularly busy couple of weeks or even more since Easter. And we always don't, we want to know, well, I do in particular, what's happening next? What's next in the diary? Where do I need to be this afternoon? Which meeting will it be later today? Who might I come into contact with? What might they need from me? 
and even at home there are things that we might be doing and I'm currently involved in the local drama production and it's performance week this week and so there's lots of things that we want to have settled in our life and it said there you know my plans my life it just made me think made me stop really and think all the things that I've been doing over the last week or so where is God in that where is God in my life? Where is God in the things that I do? And are they my plans or are they God's plans? Perhaps you'd like to take some time to think about that too. The life that you lead, are they God's plans? Or are they your plans? Are you turning to God? Are you throwing those seeds in the air and letting them blow and not you know, not knowing where they will land, but having the faith that God holds it in his hands. Let's join together in a time of prayer. And within that, there will be some times of quiet for you to think about how this is impacting on your life and where you're at at the moment. Lord, as we rest in your presence, help us to think about our lives. Help us to think about the plans that we make and to be able to focus those plans on you. That it's your world, that it's your plans, that you want us to be aware of you in all that we're doing. Help us, Lord, to be able to turn and face you. You are the light of our world. Help us to see that light. Help us to know of your presence. Help us to be inspired by your spirit as we grow in faith. Lord, help us not to worry about what we're doing and where we are, but to put our lives in your hands. We know that's easier said than done, as there are so many things going on in our lives. But help us, Lord, just occasionally to stop and to take the time and to listen for you. So, Lord, in this moment of quiet, we open our hearts that you will be there. We open our minds that you will speak to us. We give of ourselves that you will take our ideas and our plans and that you use them for your will and your glory. Lord, we know that you are a God who wants us to flourish and grow. Who wants us to know of your light and your love. Who wants us to follow your plans for each one of us. For you know the plans that you have for us. Help us, Lord through what we do and what we say, through the stories that we tell, the lives that we lead, help us to show others of you. Help others to know that you can love them as you love us all, that they are loved by you. Father God, in this time of prayer together, we thank you for all that you have done for us. As we think about Ascension through to Pentecost and the global initiative of prayer in thy kingdom come, we pray that we will plant seeds of hope, 
your seeds, your hope. Help us, Lord, to know that you are our saviour, that you are our guide and our friend. And that even when life seems busy and overwhelming, even when we're not quite sure of which way to turn and what to do, even when there seems to be too many things to do and too little time, help us, Lord, to return to you, to put our trust and our faith in you, knowing that you are there for each one of us, knowing that we are loved by you, that you are our light, our hope and our Saviour. Amen. We hope that you will join us again on Thursday for another time of prayer from the Nottingham and Derby District. And I just pray that you will lift your life to God this week and that your plans, his plans, will be your plans. <laughs>